it was quite a journey. We'd started talking about the staff hub a long time ago, so coming out of the other side of the pandemic, really we started the conversations about the need for some space for staff relaxation, if people were studying towards HNC, SVQ, if people needed some time out, maybe a different kind of space for uh, small meetings, for some supervision meetings, for, for house or, or team meetings. So way back in March 2022, we had a staff gathering and one of the kind of zones that we had in the sports hall at that time was thinking about how we might transform, well, the kitchen, the staff hub and what had been the service manager's office. Could we think about transforming those two spaces into a staff hub? So that was the start of it, really. And Neil, who was our um, operations manager at the time, and Louise Morrison, head of secure care, they kind of facilitated that workshop at the staff gathering in March. And folk came up with some amazing ideas. Some people were saying they wanted bean bags and lots of soft seating. People were asking for study areas. They wanted a kind of media area. They wanted a coffee machine. They wanted a nice kitchen space. They wanted dining spaces, relaxation spaces. So there was a lot to kind of put together. <laughs> started working with us he was great because he took all of that information away and he worked it up into mood boards and then we took people's opinions on the mood boards and the color schemes and the kind of textures and how things would look and feel and then the physical work started in the November
absolutely delighted uh, that we opened the staff hub on the 12th of December. So it was open for a couple of weeks for, for staff to have access to that before um, the Christmas break. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so hard to believe, isn't it? Oh my god, it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh. Oh. That's lovely, very, very nice and good. It's beautiful. really very quick from actually closing off the two rooms um, to knocking down walls literally to put in pocket doors between what had previously been an office and the, the kind of smallish kitchen area uh, and to transform it really into a beautiful space that is just really relaxing and welcoming um, and it is being really well used. Uh, we hope we can do more and we hope this is a starting point as well in terms of encouraging people to make use of it but also taking the ideas from the staff hub so that when we come to looking at the office spaces and the design within the care houses, within the school, because um, there's also a, a, a kind of staff room within the school that we're looking to, to transform over the next while, that hopefully we've learnt a lot through that process about how to actually co-design um, alongside colleagues um, to maximise um, usage of, of, of spaces within the centre.